Hello everybody, and welcome back to Me To Know, and today we're going to be talking about neoprene, what it is, and how it works, and I hope you enjoy the video. To start, what is neoprene? Well, neoprene is a 4-carbon compound that can be found with one or more double bonds with a halogen functional group, being a force chlorine. Neoprene is actually an alternative name for a polymer of the substance chloroprene or 2-chlorobuta-1,3-diene. So the correct name would actually be polychloroprene. And as its monomer, chloroprene is a colorless liquid. And as its polymer, neoprene is a tough rubber-like substance. So how does neoprene work? Well, it's usually made through the polymerization of chloroprene. However, it was formerly prepared by treating acetylene with cuprous chloride to form monovinyl acetylene, which was then treated with hydrochloric acid to yield chloroprene. In modern production, however, it, it, it is obtained by the chlorinization of butadiene, or isoprene. In that process, it is emulsified in water and then polymerized through free radical initiators. The most common isomer of polychloroprene is a trans polychloroprene. And what gives neoprene its special and strengthy elasticity is its van der Waals forces holding the materials together. The van der Waals forces are weak enough so they can be stretched relatively, but the van der Waals forces in between each molecule is strong enough to keep it relatively intact. So why is this important, you may ask? Well, it's an important part of industry nowadays, as it is a military-grade rubber. It's va highly valued for its strength and high tensibility. It has resistance to things like water, fire, and degradation. However, its high cost does limit its use to special purposes only. Nowadays, it's mainly used in wire insulation, belts, springs, flexible mounts, gaskets, adhesives, gas masks, and much more. Are there any risks involved with poly polychloroprene? Chloroprene, as its monomer, is fairly toxic to us and is a flammable substance. So be aware of that risk if you somehow are in possession of some. And like a lot of chemically sourced fabrics, neoprene, as a polymer and product, has a significantly negative impact on the environment. If it weren't for the textile's beneficial attributes, there would be more of an outcry on its contribution to global population. But luckily, polychloroprene only makes up a tiny fraction of each year's total plastics production, and efforts are underway to make chloroprene rubber much cleaner. Other than that, you're good to go. So for today's conclusion, you know what neoprene and chloroprene are, how they function and their structures, what the uses and importance of these materials are, and what the risks associated with them are. Now with all of that said, I hope that was helpful.